What's up guys? Uh, today we're back here in the creek. Haven't been here about a month. I guess, well, whenever the last video was, might have been over a month ago. Uh, I'm gonna fish nearly the same stretch I did last time. I'm actually gonna fish probably a little longer today. Uh, it's about 10, 30, 11 in the morning right now. It's starting to heat up. It hasn't rained in four or five days, so this water's super clear and kind of down. So it shouldn't be too hard to find these smallmouth, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get after it here. Here's the setup for today. We got the old ugly stick. It's a natural colored three inch Ned, Ned rig there. So I'm gonna get down here in the water, see if we can't get after some smallies. Suckers everywhere. I've already seen two or three suckers in this little area. I'll have to come back here one day with some some red worms. Right, let's see if this little one right here will bite. There's one. There we go. First fish of the day. Oh, look at that one, little rock bass. Little guy. Hey, we'll take it though. We're on the board. In case. Really, really shallow through here, but I'm telling you, you never know. Sometimes these fish will just kind of sit. You can see this side out in front of me, it's a little bit deeper. They'll sit in there in the shade. And you're just come tromping through here and you'll see them take off. So it's worth casting. Here's kind of the action of this thing. If you can see it in the water right here. I just do real fast twitches. And I don't, I let it sit for a second. Normally. That's usually when you get the hit. You, know, you twitch it a couple times and you just let it sit. Boom, they'll hit it. Ooh. Just got a hit. Didn't feel like a very big one, but what's it bite? I don't know if you can see them. There's five suckers right here. They are everywhere in here. There's one. Oh, shoot. <sighs> he was on for just a second. Dang it, man. Man, I watched them, there was two of them. They came from right over here. I mean, seen my bait and took off after it. And honestly, I didn't feel for that. Uh, when I went to go to set the hook, I just watched it. I mean, I seen it grab it, gave it about two seconds, let him have it, and he just he didn't have it in his mouth completely yet. There's one. There's a trout. Nice trout, too. Come here. Don't you get off. Look at that one. Oh, got off right at the bank. <laughs> oh, I got the worst luck with that. That's a good sized trout though. Something else here, what we got? Smallmouth. There we go. Alright, you ain't getting off. Back to back cast right there. Your first smallmouth of the day. Little guy. Girl. Man. Real thick though. I know they're nesting. I don't want to keep them out of the water very long. Just let them go. See him right here. I don't know if you can see him. If you just ain't hitting any skittish, you already seen me.
Got him. You know how I caught that one? I don't know if you can notice. He wasn't having it. I just put it on a rock right in front of him and I just let it sit there for about five or 10 seconds. And he just absolutely couldn't resist. A little better one. Still some small guys right now, but. So I'm saying sometimes just slow it down. Let him look at it for a minute. He couldn't resist it sitting there right near his nest. Make it. Got one right here. Stay on. God, he's pulling. There we go. Another small one, but at least we're catching them. He bit once, and I thought it was a bite I couldn't tell, and then I could literally see him swimming right by my bait just watching it. So I let it sit there for a minute. Hammered it. Got one. Looks like a decent one. giant but it's another small now yes sir another nice creek smally not very big it's maybe 10 inches or so but good gut beautiful fish let her go Another smally. Get up here. I figured it'd be one in there. Still, not really getting into the big ones. They're hiding somewhere. Nice fish, nonetheless. That one was tiny. <laughs> Boy, there's a few of them in this little hole. Man, I was just sitting here changing out the battery of this GoPro. And I'll be danged right here in front of me. This thing swimming right upstream was a nice smiley. I mean, probably a two or two and a half pounder. Very nice when he came right up here. Kind of could, he knew something was up, kind of looking at me. He went around a couple times. I just tried not to move so I didn't spook him. But I watched him go downstream, so I'm gonna Put this GoPro up on my head and see if I can't catch him if he ain't too spooked. So let's see if he'll bite. All right, let's see where he's at. Oh no, he bit it. He bit it right there. Can you see the? I could see like ripples coming off the water where he was right against that bridge and came out and bit it. No, man. See if I just sit here for a minute. Right against this corner, if this fish will come back in. There he is. You can see him. There's a good one. Oh, this one feels really good. This one feels good, man. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a nice fish here. Oh, come here. Yeah, it's a good one right here. It's a good smallie right here. Don't you come off right here at the bank. Don't you come off right here. Get up here.
There we go. That's a nice one. That's what we've been after. That's a good small mouth right there. Probably pushing two pounds. That's what we want. Ah, uh, smolly. All right, let's get this big one back in here. That's a good fish right there. That's what we've been wanting. And it's not really that that small mouth is a giant, but man, for such a tiny creek like this one, that is a good fish. I don't think they get a whole lot bigger than that one in here. This whole left side right here is pretty deep water. There's liable to be a couple more in here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Right here below me. And I might need to go over here and chill out for a minute, let them come back. I just spook them. Man, there's a bunch of smallmouth in this little hole. in that nest man got him got him oh there's another nice one. Oh no it was hooked really weird man oh that was a good fish Finally, finally got her. This ain't the big one, but it's the one with it. <laughs> I've sat here for 20 minutes trying to catch this fish. Oh, no way, finally. Just finally had enough. Had to grab it. Get you come off right here. about 20 minutes after this thing finally gave in. I'd say there's a few right in this hole back in here. Gotta be. I'm gonna ease around here. Hopefully I don't spook them. Got one. Oh, big trout. Man, these trout are so hard to hook, man. They bite so weird, I just come and snag it out of nowhere. Got one. What do I got? Another little rock bass. Huh. God. How fat. You know, I never caught one here, and I've caught two today. Nice little fish. Pretty. Here's one. Yeah, a little spotted bass. That's what I think I had on just a minute ago, too. It looks good. Tiny one, but I'll take it. giant by no means but 
our spot in a little bit. Let's put them back in. See how much different looking this water is? I mean, it is very, very murky through here. It's weird. All right, guys, I think it's gonna pretty well do it for the day. Uh, I don't know how many I caught. Uh, there's a few, didn't really catch any really good size ones. I caught one pretty good one and the rest of them just weren't as big. But like I said, it seems like it was tough for fishing, even though they're spawning, uh, it seemed like if you didn't put it right on their bed, they just, they wouldn't hardly hit it. And when they did, they just weren't hitting it as hard. And I don't know how many I, I either had the bite or had them on for a minute and didn't get them in. But uh, yeah, still had a good time. Uh, like I said, the water got really murky about two thirds of the way through this walk and didn't really hardly have any luck after that. But uh, yeah, so uh, I think later this week I'm gonna do some more bluegill fishing. Might might try to do some bass fishing at some local lakes, see what happens. But uh, thanks for watching this one, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe to the page. See you next time.